Hi everyone, and welcome back to uh, the Arthritis Broadcast Networks uh, hashtag CR Arthritis. Um, again, in uh, Quebec City uh, at the CRA and uh, AHPA uh, scientific meeting. Um, very happy to be in person this year. Um, and uh, I'm Isabel Troitsky. I'm with ACE and um, Program Manager of the Global RA Network. Um, I'm happy to be joined by Dr. Uh, Suzanne Mohan today. Um, and it's our uh, second interview of the day. And uh, we'll have interviews uh, over the, the next three days. Um, very thrilled uh, to meet all these great, uh, uh, great people, uh, healthcare professionals, and and other people from the the arthritis community. Um, so, Dr. Suzanne Morin uh, is a clinician scientist, general internist, and epidemiologist with expertise in osteoporosis. Um, Dr. Morin is also associate professor of medicine at McGill University um, in Montreal. Um, so thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Great. So I'll start with a very simple question. Who are you? <laughs> what is your role and what's your involvement in rheumatology? Thank you. So I'm, uh, as you've mentioned, a clinician uh, um, scientist. So I do part of my time I spend looking after patients who have complicated medical disorders, including uh, disorders mm -hmm. that are involve arthritis and inflammation. And my uh, specific clinical interest has to do with bone health of these people. So I ensure that their bones are as strong as they can be. And if not, then we try to improve them ver through various interventions. My research interest has to do with osteoporosis as well and how we can create better interventions to prevent fractures mm -hmm. because fractures are really the main consequence of poor bone health. This can happen, of course, with people without arthritis or any kind of inflammatory diseases, but is more common in people who have inflammatory arthritis. Yeah, so great, and yeah, in a very, very, uh, very important area. And and so uh, you you've you've given today uh, a presentation on osteoporosis. So can you tell um, us and you know what what patients should retain from from that presentation Perfect, that you yeah. gave? So I gave a presentation to the trainees, so to the residents. Mm -hmm. So this is actually a very uh, nice opportunity to train the future you know, rheumatologists, and so to ensure that they have actually this important background knowledge. So bone health is something that's really important because it is also integrated within the entire musculoskeletal system. So it's if your bones are healthy, it's often because your muscles are strong and because your joints are well looked after. So if you have a good, you know, not too much pain, not too much dysfunction in the joints, and good strong muscles, the likelihood is that you're going to have very strong bones. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, there are uh, interventions when people have arthritis that can make the bones become a bit weaker. So the idea is to be aware of this and to have the interventions that will, uh, or to implement the interventions that will try to either counteract the effect of the medication or to just kind of improve bone health in general. So there's various things we can do for that. Okay, and so working uh, with different uh, so, healthcare? Correct, so we work with different healthcare mm -hmm. professionals. So we work with often with nutritionists mm -hmm. because nutrition is extremely important. So having a good intake of vitamin D, having a good intake of calcium through the diet and uh, working with exercise professionals, particularly either kinesiologists or even uh, trainers to improve your muscle strength. Strong muscles equate strong bones. It's very important. And then sometimes people require medication. So often the rheumatologist or another specific physician can work with uh, the patient to discuss what are the different options in terms of medication. So this is what we went through this morning in the presentation, and my emphasis was that the uh, the importance of exercise mm -hmm. and the importance of nutrition need uh, need to be emphasized. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we don't we 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 know uh, 
sometimes uh, to to exercise, but not for for the good reasons. <laughs> but bone bone health is is, is one, one of them, of them definitely. Them now, yeah. Okay, um, and so this the theme of this year's uh, scientific meeting is uh, reconnect, renew, and exactly. reimagine. So, uh, you know, we spent two three years where uh, we we didn't connect much uh, uh, between each other with our physicians with our mm -hmm. uh, healthcare professionals. Um, in your opinion, uh, how can patients, uh, healthcare professionals, and healthcare systems in general, you know, unite to uh, to improve the disease journey of uh, the arthritis patients? Yeah, so this is important, and in fact, you know, uh, our, the uh, Canadian Rheumatology Association has a lot of connection mm -hmm. with patient partners, obviously, and patient organizations. And so the importance is to create this sense of networking and this sense of meaningful collaboration. In the bone side, we also have this, there is a patient society, Osteoporosis Canada, who has a virtual patient network of a thousand or so participants, even more than that, actually, it's about 7,000 people who can actually bring their voice to the table. And we, we are hoping to create what we call um, USNET, which is a, mm -hmm. a network of clinicians, of uh, policymakers, and of patients and researchers to come together to look at how we can research better, but how we can implement better mm -hmm. the results of these research in, uh, in clinical care. So, so I think if we don't have one part, so if we don't have the patient partner or if you don't have the clinicians or if you don't have the policymakers, you can't just implement or you can't mobilize all this knowledge mm -hmm. into effective intervention. So that's extremely important. And the fact that we see each other and discuss, you know, with various people, that's the only way things will move forward, mm -hmm. I think, in many fields, not yeah. just in... Yeah, right, yeah. Or no. So I guess you know scientific meetings like this are one, perfect. Yeah, 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 as uh, our perfect opportunities yeah. to do that. Exactly. Yeah, that's great. Um, and and so, are there any other insights? Uh, any other information? Because we have we have a lot of viewers uh, out there, uh, patients included. Um, anything that you'd like to share that you, you find is important for for them to um, you know improve their condition mm -hmm. and 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 their yeah their their, their journey through through the right process. so I think what's important in the, if you have inflammatory disorders is to ensure that this inflammation mm -hmm. with the help of your clinician and all of uh, interventions that are recommended that we try to reduce the inflammation as much as possible because the inflammation does have an impact on muscle and bones. And if we can then control this, or in addition, then I think it's important to uh, keep as active as you can. Mm -hmm. By being active, you kind of contribute to your joints being better, you contribute to your muscles being better. And it's been shown that exercise specifically, you know, resistance training, so small weights, will improve not only your bone strength, but will also per improve your ability to move around and will improve your pain level and will you make, make you feel better in general. So if there's one thing we can re remember is exercise. Mm -hmm. And of course, you need to pay attention to, to your skeleton. And sometimes we discuss with the physician is whether we should have a test to, to, to discern whether the skeletal health is um, appropriate or not. Mm -hmm. So this can be done with a bone density test mm -hmm. measurement or some other way of, you know, looking at how strong your skeleton may be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, interesting. And so exercise, is it, uh, is it complicated or can it be integrated easily in the, in the yeah. daily life? So there are multiple websites. So on Osteoprocess mm -hmm. Canada website, for example, there are videos of what types of exercise mm -hmm. you can integrate. And often you can do them in your home, either with small weights or elastic bands. And the exercises we promote are not, you know, uh, going to make you extremely fit and muscular. The idea is to tone up the muscles. Yes. And so these can be done two or three times a week at home. It takes 10 to 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. And then you can engage in other activities that you enjoy, walking, swimming, other things, more for the cardio and kind of the joint movement. 
but these muscle uh, training exercises are very important. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much. So bone health, super important. Yes. Uh, we're thrilled uh, <laughs> to, uh, to, do, to, uh, to talk to you. Any questions from uh, the viewers? So Isabel, we have one. Yes. Um, so for any, uh, anyone who are new to exercise, they need the motivation. Do you have any tips for that? So that's your that's the most important point. So the idea is to try if you can if you like to exercise with others, is to find somebody to do it with you kind of register to a class that tends to be more motivating. There's other people there. Find a time in your schedule that will work because if you have to always keep changing the schedule. So most people say if you do it always the same day, always the same time, it's much easier. It becomes more like a routine. And it's really to see exercise as not so much something that's very difficult and, oh, I have to do it, but something that will make you feel better. So it's a bit like, you know, brushing your teeth and doing things like that. We all do it, but in the end, we're happy to do it. So if you can do it with others and enjoy that, then that's good. Yeah, it's taking care of yourself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so and, 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 and making it part of your, your routine. Yeah. Uh, any any other questions? No. Uh, well, thank you so much welcome. for your time. Uh, thank you all for uh, being with us again uh, at the Arthritis uh, Broadcast Network's uh, hashtag CR Arthritis, and we'll see you soon uh, for other uh, interviews with uh, with uh, exciting uh, <laughs> uh, exciting people like Dr. Suzanne Morin. Uh, and enjoy the rest of the conference. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> nice thank to you. See you.